हेलो एवरी वन आई एम एच डी एस फैकल्टी एट रेजोनेंस एडवेंचर्स एंड आज हम करेंगे क्लास ट्वेल्थ के इंग्लिश का एक चैप्टर पोएट्स एंड पेनकेक्स रिटर्न बाय अशोक मित्रन दिस चैप्टर इज फ्रॉम फ्लेमिंगो ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ दिस चैप्टर फ्लेमिंगो पोएट्स एंड पेनकेक्स इज फ्रॉम द बुक रिटर्न बाय अशोक मित्रन एंड इज द नेम ऑफ द बुक इज माई ईयर्स विथ बॉस एंड दिस चैप्टर अशोक मित्रन talks about his days when he worked at the gemini studios gemini studios was a studio in madras and many films were produced over here which had a great impact on the indian life in this ashok mitran starts with the makeup department of the gemini studios and what is pancakes pancakes is a makeup material which was ordered in truck loads truck bhar bhar ke ये मेकअप मटेरियल आता था विच वॉज अप्लाइड टू द एक्टर्स एंड द एक्ट्रेसेस एंड दे व मेड टू लुक अगली सो दैट दे कुड लुक प्रेजेंटेबल ऑन द स्क्रीन दिस जेमिनी स्टूडियो वॉज सपोज टू बी अ स्टेबल ऑफ रॉबर्ट क्लाइव इन द अर्लियर डेज ये जो स्टूडियो था इट वॉज देर वर र्यूमर्स बातें चर्चाएं ऐसी थी कि दिस earlier was a stable ek astabal tha of robert clive now pancakes is a material used in the makeup department this makeup department of gemini studios was like a big saloon with full of lights and mirrors and it just looked like a saloon over there and in this makeup department a strict hierarchy was maintained to apply the makeup the main actors and actresses they were applied makeup by the chief makeup artist man the secondary heroes and heroines they were applied makeup by the senior assistant of the main chief makeup artist the comedians they were applied makeup by the junior assistant of the chief makeup man and those who played the role of the crowd they were applied makeup by office boy this office boy is not a boy he is a man around 40 years over here and his work was to slap the makeup on to the faces of the players make them look ugly so that they could look presentable on the screen this office boy when he came to gemini studios he came here to become a director or an actor or a screen writer or a lyricist but his fate his destiny was such that he landed up in the department of or sorry he landed up in the makeup department of the gemini studios this office boy he always blamed one person for his ignorance wo ek aadmi ko blame karta tha whose name is kothamangalam subbu ashok mitran he had he was working in a glass cubicle and when and his work was only to cut and store the news and articles related to the films and the other things so whenever this office boy would be free he would enter into the cabin of ashok mitran and he would talk about his miseries and he blamed kotha mangalam subbu and ashok mitran mani man dua karta tha he would pray that let there be a scene in the film where crowd is related so that the office boy could be diverted over there after this the author talks about subbu the owner of gemini studios in those days was mr s s watson subbu was very close to s s watson the owner of this studio subbu was a very talented person he was a good actor but he never aspired for any main role he was a good poet as well but he never targeted any larger audience his poets were confined or his poems were confined to the smaller groups and subbu being very close to the boss s s watson the office boy was always jealous of him whenever the boss had any problem in doing a scene so whenever the producer whenever the director would be stuck stuck up as to how a scene should be 
targeted, how the scene should be shot, the scene should be captured. They would consult Sobo and Sobo a very talented person, he would come out with different ways and make the easy going things for the producers. And it looked as if Subbu was tailor made for films and with Subbu around things were very easy at the Gemini studios. So extremely talented person and he was also very good at heart. Dil se bhi kafi wo dildar tha and his house would always be open for everyone, for his known persons, for his acquaintance, dur ke jaan pehchan wale who used to come to Gemini studios, to Madras to struggle in the film industries and Subbu's house was always open to welcome them. So this person was a talented person, he was good at heart. In spite of it, he had an enemy that is the office boy and Subbu was a Brahmin. Subbu was a Brahmin and it was always thought that he being from the upper caste, the boss always favored him. Subbu was designated in the story department of the Gemini Studios. This story department was full of poets and thinkers and authors and in this story department there was a lawyer who was a totally different type of a person. It was the story department which was full of poets, the thinkers and the writers. Most of them preferred Khadi. Nobody believed in any politics, but they preferred Khadi. But he is a lawyer, tha, he was the only one who would always be in suit, in court, tie and so on. So he was a odd one out in that department. And this lawyer, once he ruined a career of an upcoming actress, kya hua tha? an actress was irritated at the producer. So after a scene was shot. She started talking angrily about that producer. This lawyer recorded everything and when that actress stopped her anger, jab uska gussa nikal gaya puri tarah se, this lawyer, he told that actress one minute madam and then he made her, made her hear that voice, the sound what he had recorded. This actress was so scared, she never knew the harsh realities of this industry and she left the film industry forever. So in this way, the lawyer ruined the career of an upcoming actress. And this lawyer, he was known as the legal advisor, but the people called him just the opposite over here. Now many visitors came to Gemini Studios and one such group was, one such visitor was a big group comprising of around 200 performers. The group was Moral Rearmament Army and people from different countries, people of different colors, they had come over here to Gemini Studios and there could be no other better host than Gemini Studios for this big visitor that is Moral Rearmament Army that is MRA. They performed two plays the Jotham Valley and the Forgotten Factors and after and these plays were simple homely plays, simple gharelu type ke ye plays the maape. and the family of the Gemini studio members, they watched these plays many a times and after this MRA went away from there, two scenes were enacted in the Indian plays the scene of sunrise and the sunset. This was bar imitated and kafi bar imitated kiya gaya, copy kiya gaya tha Indian stage ke upar. And how was the scene enacted? So whenever the sunrise or the sunset scene was to be shot, an empty stage, wide background and the sound of a flute. Piche se background mein basure ki awaj. In this way, the scenes were shot. Then the next the author talks about one more visitor who came over there and that person was an Englishman. An Englishman aya tha visit karne Gemini Studios and some thought that person to be a poet, some thought that person to be a writer, a author, nobody knew actually what was it. 
So, when this visitor came, the boss Mr. S. S. Watson welcomed him. And later on, he read a long speech, Achha Khasa Ek Bhashan Pada Usne, and then, and this speech comprised of words like freedom and democracy. Now, it was the turn of this Englishman to come. And this Englishman, who was assumed to be a poet or a writer, he started his speech. And his accent baffled or confused everyone. Pure English accent, what he spoke, to whom he spoke, and why he spoke. Everyone was confused. And Esalagratha that the speaker, the Englishman also is confused because he was talking in pure English and the simple Tamil crowd, the audience was over there. So, why this Englishman came was a mystery. Nobody could understand why this Englishman came at the Gemini Studios. Years later, Ashok Mitran, when he left the job, once he was just passing by the road, he came across a book. This was the time when he had lots of time, but short of money. So, one day he came across a book being sold on the road. The name of the book is The God That Failed. He opened that book and this book contained essays written by six eminent writers, including Louis Fisher, Stephen Spender and so on. And as and it was of some more authors were Richard Wright, Louis Fisher and Stephen Spender. And when he read the book, this book was about the experiences of the six eminent writers into their journey of communism and how they returned back because they thought that it was a illusion. So, the experiences of these six eminent writers were there and these writers included Stephen Spender. And when Ashoka Mitran read this name, he was delighted and he because this Stephen Spender was the same person who had arrived at Gemini Studios few years early and he was the same Englishman over here. And now why that Englishman had come, what he had spoken because the Mr. S. S. Watson spoke about freedom and democracy or said Oi communism ke baare mein this person must have shared his experience in pure English language, which the audience could not understand. But now Ashok Mitran realized why this Englishman must have visited Gemini Studios. So, friends, this is all about this chapter. If you want to view such more lectures, subscribe our channel and keep watching. Enjoy your learning and thank you all.